This episode of Chat Chow is brought to you by The Grind, Miami's Burger Battle. Use the promotional code TV to save $10. And Johnson & Wales University, North Miami, the leader in culinary education. Stay tuned after the show for the Culinary Insider to learn practical tips for the everyday foodie. Welcome to Chat Chow, an online weekly show interviewing South Florida's food personalities. On today's episode, we'll be speaking with Eleanor Ho, better known as the Walk Star, here at Pepe Calderon in Miami, Ironside Community. Eleanor, Walk Star! I've taken your classes. They're mm -hmm. fun, they're interactive, and you actually do a really amazing job, so amazing I have to bring it up for, on the show, of introducing everyone. So it's almost like networking. If you wanted to go to one of your classes and network, it's, mm -hmm. it's a perfect opportunity. Yeah, uh, you know, the whole thing about my classes is I want people to have a really good experience when they come. And uh, I want people to know who's coming beforehand. That's why I send out the guest list so that people who want to, you know, connect can do that in the class. So what can one expect from your class? Like walk us through, you know, we show up, what happens? Wow. <laughs> okay. It's, it's kind of like a perfect combination of socializing, learning, and a little bit of entertainment as well. Um, so I try to kind of combine a little bit of everything um, because my whole goal is to have people leave and feel like they've learned um, how to stir fry in a wok. Very simple, easy, yummy, one dish. Dinners. And that's what I want to talk about. You have a, it's, it's a four step process, right? Yeah, four seasonings. Four and seasonings. I call it my no recipe, no measuring, no calorie counting. <laughs> and I don't think people realize how easy um, wok cooking is, and not only that, but healthy, right? Exactly, exactly. So it's a whole dish. How long would a whole dish usually take from beginning to end? I try to tell people to be more realistic um, that it would take like under 30 minutes to create something from scratch and I try to get people to just use very simple fresh ingredients and um, just four seasonings to make a delicious meal. You actually sell this kit, right? Mm -hmm. And you swear by this wok because, <laughs> well, because it's light. It's a cast iron wok, right. but it's, it's lighter than normal woks. Yes, and, yes. so, and it comes pre-seasoned? Correct. That, the whole point of why I did that was um, make it that, so that there's no obstacles for people to be successful when they first start because I've had so many experiences of people, you know, seasoning it incorrectly or using the wrong tools. And when people don't have success at the first attempt, they just they give up. Give up. Of course. Yeah. The really four components to make people successful, and that's having the right wok, high heat, the right ingredients, and also the right technique. And that's why I developed these um, discs instructional discs so that people from anywhere in the world can learn how to do it. And actually, they all come in this kind of caddy thing, so even you can keep everything together in your fridge and literally just pull that out, pull the wok out and walk exactly. walk. Exactly. I really enjoy hearing from successful wok stars and what I mean by successful is they really use the wok as a vessel for cooking Cuban, Caribbean, whatever it is, because the wok really isn't just for Asian stir fries, you know, you can use it for cooking anything, and the more you use it, the more patina it builds up, and it's it's a great vessel. Any crazy stories of any students in any classes, any accidents or anything like that? I do have a lot of <laughs> single guys who brag about um, getting for the ladies scoring oh, the ladies. all you men out there like, I've impressed my dates with my <laughs> chopping skills and my box skills and because that's true too actually let's talk about that for a second in the class you do show how to chop different ways mm -hmm. it is a, it's a complete thing and also actually that's another good thing there's um alcohol is involved not that I'm a lush <laughs> I swear people think that I'm a lush but I'm not a lush but there is sipping involved while you're doing everything yes, yes. and it is hands-on you occasionally will um, ask for a volunteer and if they don't volunteer uh -huh. then you might pick them out of the audience to come up <laughs> well I, I want to say it's a very interactive and engaging class because i want to try and get as many people to come up and stir fry with me and once they get behind that wall you can't get them off so. right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a problem. 
Thanks, Eleanor, so much for being on the show. Let's um, take a look at all, all the stuff you have here, all your goodies. <laughs> yeah, actually, see. these are awesome too. Yeah, but feel how light it is. Pick it up. Light. It is light. Well, that's the key. Too. Hello, I'm Chef Alan Bergman from Johnson & Wales University Miami campus and today I'm going to be talking to you about salads. We have a class in Johnson & Wales University called Garmage and in that class we teach about salads and I like to encourage my students to make a salad that involves textures, colors and flavors. Today we have baby mescaline greens. I ask my students to try adding maybe some arugula to it for some more flavor. I also ask them to chiffonade which is a classical cut, maybe some bok choy or add some bean sprouts, some dried fruits maybe a variety of nuts. I also asked them to introduce color and look for variety of colors. We tried some heirloom tomatoes today. Over here we have some red oak leaf lettuce and some Belgium endive. I asked the students to try putting together a plate that looks colorful, flavorful and has textures to it. Over here we have a final finished product of all these variety of foods that we brought with us today. I hope you enjoyed today's little demonstration and I hope to see you on campus one day.